my God, how many explosions are there going to be in this movie? <laughs> and is he going to be able to control himself? Um, but it was amazing. I, I was just so excited. I think that my process was I read the script first without knowing that it was Michael Bay. My, my, my um, agent sent it to me. She's like, I'm not going to tell you who's going to direct it. Just read it. And I was like, that sounds like a trap. <laughs> and she's like, read it. And I was like, okay. So I read it. And I just fell in love with Cam immediately. I just felt like it felt like a real contemporary woman, a woman that I can relate to, a woman with dimension and, and capabilities, but also quite vulnerable and broken and going through a moment in life. And I just want to be embodying female characters like this more and more on screen. And it's rare to see characters like this on action films. So I was just really excited. And then they're like, it's going to be Michael Bay. And then I sat down and interviewed him. I was like, are you going to do her justice? And he was like, yes. And so <laughs> he's like, he's always telling me, you're like, you're you're so healthy. I'm like, I, I just really care, but I'm so grateful. And he's lovely. We get along so well. I just wish that they pay attention to what the paramedics and the first responders have been doing this entire two years. I'm so honored to be playing them. And it was just most, it was literally the most terrifying process of my life because I got it in the peak of the pandemic, the script, and I just was really nervous and, and really thought, who am I to be bringing this character to life? It should be someone that is capacitated for this. And, um, and I just loved what a love letter it was to first responders, but also for female paramedics. And, and I felt like as a woman of color, being a Mexican woman, an immigrant, I, I just wanted to see more characters like this on screen, being a woman like me that doesn't necessarily have to make a point of where she comes from or where she is, and it just creates a norm. And so I just hope that when people watch this, think about the real life superheroes. These are the real life superheroes, the, the, the heroes without capes, and they have been sacrificing their entire lives in the last more than ever for, for us. When you say Michael Bay movie, I say, uh, yeah, I'll say explosions. Uh, 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 bombastic is a big is a word that comes with both Michael Bay and Michael Bay movies. So maybe that, yeah, because it implies that sort of explosive thing. The thing is that Michael is Michael is a Michael is a kind of film the kind of filmmaker that people wouldn't expect, in that. You know, some of the best filmmakers I've ever worked with are always following the energy and the honesty of something that's happening. And so he allows for things to roll and find you're finding things with him and he's laughing and we're joking. And in the midst of that, he finds energy in something that we love watching. And I think that's why you see incredible performance, like fun, ridiculous things that come out of so many people that he works with. And that's why we love his movies. You know, I just want, I, I'm so excited for people to go to the theater. I think the idea to me of people saying, we're going to have a huge experience and we're going to go there and we're going to have fun and we're going to have enjoy this crazy ride. To me, that's what's exciting about this movie. And I think I'd love for people to take away also that the movie is a love letter to EMTs, you know, and first responders. It really is. Um, the incredible work they do. And yes, it gets big and, and bigger than life sometimes, but at the heart of it is the incredible work they do. The idea of the singing came from a, like a little bit of a seed of mine, of wanting to like, you know, I thought, I thought, how much can you do in an ambulance over a long period of time? And I thought, there's a radio, right? And I just mentioned that to him, and then the, the choice of song was his. He's a Yacht Rock fan, so, you know. If you've seen the movie, if you've seen Ambulance, it, the energy of that, the frenetic energy of that, the chaotic brilliance, is the exact same as being on set. Uh, making a movie with Michael Bay is exactly what you would imagine making movies is like. It's, 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 it's all right, three, two, one, action, it's cut, it's fast. Um, it's, a, it's a huge playground. He's off the hook. Well, you know, we uh, play brothers in the film, and for us, that's what we wanted to come in and protect, which means that we had to be honest, we couldn't take ourselves seriously. We had to depend upon one another, you know, to get through the day, to get through the scenes. And we just, at the end of the day, just really had a ball. You know, we just came in. It was sort of like a say yes, yes and. And, and that's what we did. We were very playful and uh, we had a good time. That's, see, that's what it is. Like when you come in with a spirit of fun and you only have about 39 days to do it, you know, uh, then you just have to be ready to just change with the changes and to be game to go out and to make things happen. And so. That's what this, this was, you know, Chris gave us an amazing foundation uh, and Michael was there to shake it up and to help us to get creative and so it was really all about playing.
don't know. I mean, it's like I just try to go out and make each one different and uh, give people an experience in the theater. Uh, this was uh, shot during the height of the pandemic which was a great cast. And what I like about this movie is it's a, it's a very immersive, audiences, I've seen it with big audiences, it's very immersive because it's very tense. It's like if you were on a crime, what would it feel like if it all goes wrong and it's all happening very, very fast? They just have to know that it's going to, it's, it does have emotion in it, but it's, it's an intense movie. You know, it's fun and it's a, it's a good ride, but uh, it's, it's got, definitely got emotion at the end. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you a quick story. Spielberg, um, I'm friends with him, and he, he was doing War of the Worlds. And when Tom Cruise runs up the hill in the middle of the movie, the planes fly over, and you see all these explosions, but you don't see what's over the hill. I said, Stephen, I wanted to see over the hill. He goes, no, no, no it's a $5 million scene. I cut it. I'm like, Stephen, and then I realized I've had all the money in the world in these big movies. He's had all the money in the world. It's great to just put restraints on your on your uh, yourself. And this was just down home, guerrilla style. Um, you know, it's just uh, it was very immediate. It was a it was a it was a very claustrophobic in that ambulance uh, uh, environment, and that was the, the interesting thing. And I was very lucky. I got 52 real LA PD cops, um, real fire firefighters. So it's got a very authentic authentic uh, feel to it. Because I put the movie in my head, I know what I'm going for, and I always try to, what is the, the point of this scene? What do I want? What's the emotion I want to get? And, and we try to expound on it, you know? And I, I shoot fast enough where the actors bring their A game, and I start throwing things at them. Not physical things, but like, uh, not physical things, but, um, you know, ideas at them. And they give me stuff, and we start, you know, I give them room to play. It's all about the emotion. You've got to feel it from the character's point of view. Action is boring if it's not if you're not if the character's not central to it. Well, I hear we have 250 LAPD sheriff firefighters uh, uh, paramedics here today. I swear to God, we do. Kinetic energy, yeah, and beyond that, a sense of improvisation, of fluidity in the moment. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's do something. One day I'm a little bit, uh, I'm the first one back from lunch, and he looks at so what do you want to do? Let's do something. What do you want to do? I say, well, there's this big old knife on my desk. It's a beautiful knife. It's engraved. Let's do something. And next thing you know, we're like making something up on the spot, and of course, that's in the movie. You know, he's just, uh, so much lives in the moment, and it, it informs everything he does. That's why his movies are so great. It's literally, you're in the process of discovery when you're working on them. Is a joy. I think there's two things. There's a little girl in it that you meet early on, and for my money, she brings it home into your heart. And one thing that people don't imagine in a movie like this is that the ethical considerations that get these guys to do what they do at the beginning is only the first ethical consideration of a whole string of them. As this movie unfolds, they're constantly having to figure out, okay, Given this new situation, how can I do the least harm? And of course, in a movie like this, you think, well, wh why would that be a part of it? But that's, that's why the movie works so beautifully, is because these people remain human and they're still trying to figure out how to get through this day with the least damage. And of course, it's going to be horrific any way you cut it, but they try. Well, I'll just see it has a lot in common with, I think, it, you know, you recognize Michael's language. Uh, his visual language, but I honestly, uh, I, I think I, I can't bring one to mind right now. But I don't remember ever being more stressed. <laughs> I mean, you're just, you know, you're just, holy shit! <laughs> you, know, you feel like there's that one moment where he actually gets a cop car to come through the air. It's like literally rotating like a barrel. And you go, how do you get a car to ro rotate with that velocity? I mean, they're, they're masters of physics, and they understand how to do stuff like that at the very edge of what's possible to do without something terrible happening. And you know, it, it's it's just a thrill to watch. You know, he's a brand, right? He, he I think in the 90s, redefined the Hollywood blockbuster. Bad Boys, The Rock, Armageddon. He became an institution. Honestly, I think that the larger-than-life characters, right, when you think of The Rock, you, I think of Sean Connery, right, and the charisma and the chemistry between 
those two characters in Bad Boys. I think it's more, it's bringing that back. So on the one hand, you have all the spectacle, you've got the helicopters, you've got the explosions, you have all of that chaos and visual madness, but you also have these people that you really care about and that are constantly surprising you as this movie unfolds. I'm just excited for audiences to get back to the movie theater and see a big Michael Bay movie like on the big screen. I think it delivers. It's like firmly on the fresh side of the tomato meter. And I believe at the moment, knock on wood, it's, uh, it's his um, highest rated critical film as a director. Higher than Pain and Gain? What's that? Higher than Pain and Gain? I think so. Higher than Pain and Gain, Hi higher than The Rock. Even. Yeah. You know, Michael Bay, like I was telling them, he's he's unique, he's fast, he's intense, and he knows exactly how he wants to shoot it. And so once you understand that, you fall in line, and you do it quick, and you get it, and it's a rhythm. The whole landscape of the film, it's, it's really a showcase of downtown L.A., Boyle Heights. So it really, if you've lived here and spent a lot of time here, you're going to recognize, oh, that's that spot, oh, that's that corner. So L.A.'s definitely a character in the film. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Me. I mean, how do people know that? Let's say shout. But it's actually great because you're really in the moment, and that's what I like about it. And I like to be an artist. I consider myself an artist who's in the moment. And so you're there in that circumstance, and let's go. And so whatever kind of happens, happens, and um, it's going to be your natural instinct. And you'll see a lot of that in this film. I want them to know that, you know, Good old Hollywood action movies are still a thing, and it's good to have fun, eat your popcorn, and watch a movie for the fun of it. Every movie is not supposed to be an Oscar-nominated picture, and that's great, too. But you can just have fun at the movies. You know what? I was I, There's a really great Danish movie called Ambulansen, and it's a very intimate, tight-knit thriller. And I was like, what if you took that small little movie, you put it in Los Angeles, and you added Michael Bay? So many explosions. So it was, it, was, it was a dream come true. It's also for anybody who's ever been stuck in traffic. Like, what is this? What caused this? When, I, when um, I first met with the um, producers, Jamie Vanderbilt and Bradley Fisher, Michael was the dream. That was always the person we had in mind. It was always who we loved the idea of. Because it's like, small thriller, add Michael Beck. I mean, it's like characters that you care about stuck in the middle of something really insane. So that's what it's about. It's like characters and you know, action. It's, like it's kind of like a musical. Except with blood. Explain. How is it like a musical? Well, usually uh, the musical numbers in a musical are all about like taking the characters and revealing their emotions and really what's going on in their lives. We do that with action. I saw the movie again last night, and I was starting to get worried that if I watched it again tonight, my head would explode. It is the most fantastic, entertaining panic attack you're ever going to have. Yeah, I mean, the whole entire film is pulsating with Los Angeles. You have, uh, you start in downtown Los Angeles and you go all the way to the other side of the 405. Um, you're kind of like wondering what part of LA you're going to see next, which I love to do, you know, when I'm, I'm a Los Angelan, so like whenever I'm watching a film, I like to say, oh, I recognize that place. Oh, I know that place. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an amazing sort of place to take place, this film with the car chase, like, like this one, because, you know, it's, uh, it's a hard place to get around, so you can only imagine what a car chase would be like. I mean, I had some lines that were in the film and the final product, but most of what I said was completely made up. And he would give me ideas, and you'd be like, oh, really? Okay, I'll just I'll try it. And then next thing you know, you're like spitballing for five minutes, and you're like, I have no idea what I'm saying. So, pretty cool. Really amazing shots. And you know what? The thing with Michael Bay is like, the people who I know have worked for him, it's just so, it's just impressive how fast he shoots, how he shoots. I mean, obviously, we're big. We're in the Red family, so both of us are, you know, obviously he's a massive director, I'm a small director, but we both love Red, and so I just, I love watching him and, and his process. It is surreal. I am, it's so exciting. Just meeting the whole cast and crew, it's amazing. No, not yet. This will be my first time. I'm excited to see the action and just everything in the movie. I'm really excited. No, not really. But when I saw Michael Bay, I was like, wow, that's really him. Uh, like Transformers, all those movies, because I love the Transformers and stuff. I would say um, take a deep breath, definitely have some kind of drink and something to eat, and just prepare for the unexpected.
that's how we prepared filming. I mean, that was the way to do it, was just go in and trust that there, there was going to be mayhem, and there was. It's everything you imagine. So you have to prepare, but then you have to be prepared to throw it all away and just and just roll with it and riff. And he's he truly is a genius, and he knows his shots, he knows what he wants. And so you just have to trust and go with it. I actually, I remember Michael calling my manager saying, hey, is uh, Olivia okay with uh, going in a chopper? And I was like, sure, sure. Never been in a chopper, um, you know, doing this stuff. It was one of the last scenes I shot and I threw up. Didn't make the film. I thought it was going to, but yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. But I mean, to have a car built for you like that, it was pretty fun.